what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hey yeah hopefully you enjoyed that special horror holiday called friday the 13th and you got to sit back and relax and watch some jason Voorhees flicks but as we flip the calendar to a new day we go from friday the 13th to saturday the 14th and what does that mean well there's still a film you can enjoy to celebrate this extra holiday what film is that well let's get into the video and i'll explain what do we wait for let's go it gets bad on Friday the 13th, but it gets worse on Saturday the 14th. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Pop Culture Quarter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeffman316. There's a sign in the back that says Jeffman316 Live. That's on Sunday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern. We usually watch along the movie talk about pop culture, talk about physical media, anything you want to talk about, come over and join us. If you want to hit me up individually, you can uh, go to my socials. They're down below in the description. But we're talking Saturday the 14th. Yeah, this is my new Concord DVD release that I got back in the day. Saturday the 14th is a unique movie. It's not really a horror movie, but it's based on horror. It's more of a spoof. It's more of a comedy spoof than it is like horror, but it has horror elements in it. It was May 1981. The main actor is right there on the front, Richard Benjamin. I would never was a huge fan of Richard Benjamin. Uh, it also stars his then wife, Paula Prentice, who plays his wife in the film. So they got, they got some good natural chemistry there. But the vampire in the middle there, which on the poster, it doesn't do him any um, justice, is played by Jeffrey Tambor. And there's a photo of him on the back. Up there in the corner, you can see he's a he's the Dracula character. I think he's the best character in the movie. He's really funny, over the top. Um, Jeffrey Tambor, do you remember what other like new newer franchise he was in that wasn't a horror that was comedy? Remember what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Except for herpes, that shit'll come back with you. Yeah, he plays Alan's dad, the rich father in the Hangover film. So he's a good supporting actor. I always liked everything he was in. I never really liked the main star of this movie, Richard Benjamin. Um, I know he was, to me, mainly a uh, you know a dry character actor. Like I uh, always usually played the straight man. So I guess that's the reason they wanted him in this. It's more like a Leslie Nielsen type style where he doesn't realize it's a comedy or that funny things are happening, but it's his sense of timing and humor or whatever that makes some of it funny. But... Uh, Jeffrey Tambor, to me, steals the movie. I really like it. I'd like to take a look at her neck. Well, if you don't trust me after 311 years of marriage... The gist of the movie is they inherit a house in Pennsylvania. It's, but you know, the haunted house of the neighborhood. When they get in there, they realize the Dracula character is also looking for something that's in that house. There's a book of evil. The book of evil! Yeah, that's what I said. A book of evil. The book of evil. Okay, okay, a book of evil. Yeah, there's a book of evil in there that they're all looking for, and you know, and then chaos ensues. A lot of creatures are released into the house. Think of the old Universal monster style movie, Men in Suits type of thing. Um, this is really nostalgic. You're gonna have to be in the mood for like a nostalgic vintage movie from the 70s and 80s. If you're from that era like me, you're like it. This movie came out in 81, so I was like 10, and I watched it throughout my childhood, early adulthood. I really loved it. So there's an example of one of the creatures on the back. If you're not into that kind of cheese, yeah, you're not going to like it. So it's it's full of cheese. Cheese. Oh. No, no, keep going. Cheese. No. Yeah, stop there. That's the kind of cheese you're going to find. It's going to be a lot of cheese. Now, to my surprise, it hadn't been that long ago, Screen Factory slash Shout Factory released this on Blu-ray. And I thought it was really cool. Now, they do have more. They've got a picture of uh, Jeffrey Tambor as Dracula on the back, or Count Dracula, the Count, whatever you want to call him. But look, the fe young female in the middle plays the daughter. Uh, her character is played by, I think it's Carrie, is it Michelson? Now, if you don't remember, do you remember what that name, what uh, show that was, she was from, from the 80s? Yeah, give me a break. Yeah, and I wasn't a super fan of that, but I always loved her. Now, I didn't realize 
she was born in 1961 so she was 20 years old in this so she is one of those she looks younger than her age she plays a teenager i always had like a little crush on her one reason is because of a sexy scene that's in this or at least i thought it was when i was younger looking back at it now it's more funny but you know long before uh heather langenkamp is nancy I almost had her coochie cut by freddie in the tub with her with the you know his claws carrie michelson was in the tub and things got a little fishy for her as the a creature from the black lagoon type character scared her from the bathtub the year's number one horror comedy spoof it was a late you know that actually came before a nightmare on elm street like three years before so you wonder hey did they get some influence from saturday the 14th maybe you never know But I always thought that scene was kind of cool. Like I said, I guess that maybe that's where my crush for her was when I was uh, when I was younger. Uh, if you want to know the style of movie, it's not as good, but it's in the style of the Monster Squad. So if you like the Monster Squad and you're into that vintage kind of horror comedy, then you'll like Saturday the 14th. If you're only into new, like scary movie style um, horror comedies or whatever, uh, you're not probably not going to like it. Um, like I said, probably somebody from the 70s and 80s is going to eat that up, going to love it. Um, I thought it was funny. Sit back, have a couple beers, get relaxed, have some fun, laugh at a horror comedy from the, from the early 80s. If you want to watch another movie after it, go for Monster Squad, but I would say avoid this. If you didn't know, there's a sequel to the movie. Saturday the 14th Strikes Back. This was also released on the new Concord DVD. I don't think that has a Blu-ray release. I know a lot of people didn't even know this movie existed. It doesn't need to exist. To me, I've watched it like one time I know in my life, but didn't like it. I would stick with the original. And then if you want a double feature, like I said, go with Monster Squad. So hopefully you enjoyed this little mini review of that movie. And I just wanted to let you know there's funny options out there to celebrate the day after Friday the 13th with Saturday the 14th. So hopefully you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. If you do support the channel and you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post new videos and support me all other ways. Like I said, social media links and everything are down below. I love you guys. Continue to support me and I'll keep making great content. Until next time, boys and girls, this has been JeffMan316. I'm your pop culture reporter and I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. God, look at all these owls.